Hey there, today we'll show you how you can easily bring your product data from your data warehouse into customer IO to drive higher engagement with more targeted email campaigns. In this instance, data for new product users are synced to customer IO, but we wanna start targeting subsets of users based on recent engagement or lack thereof. In customer IO, I can create a segment of these users to target in a personalized drip email campaign. However, as you can see, this data set is incomplete because some users don't have data for the attribute day since last event. And I know a lot of my new users have not yet been synced to customer IO. Let's use census to get this data into customer IO and ensure it's populated for all users going forward. In census, I first need to set up my connections. This includes both the data warehouse where the user data lives as well as a service connection or destination where I want to sync this data to, customer IO in this case. I've already added my Redshift data warehouse using the standard configuration credentials. In doing this, I'll need to enter host name, port, database name, username, and password. And once I've added that, I can test the connection to make sure it's complete. From here, we need to connect customer IO service to census by using one of your customer IO API keys. The site ID and API key can be found in my customer IO account settings. Now that I've added my connections, let's go ahead and create our first model to identify the subset of Redshift data I want to sync to customer IO. Census models use SQL queries to identify the subset of data to sync into a connection. If the data set has already been transformed in the data warehouse, my SQL query may be as simple as a select star statement like we see here. On the other hand, if I need to create some of that business logic in this query, I can do so here. For example, in this query, I define what a lead score is in this query itself. In this instance, I have a SQL query ready, which relies on a prior calculated aggregation of the days since the last event in this query. Let's run the query to preview that it works. Looks good, now we need to name our model and save it. The final step is to create a sync, so let's go ahead and do that. First, we select the data we want to sync. The connection is the data warehouse where the data lives, Redshift in our case, and the source is the model we previously created using a SQL query. Now we need to configure where this model is being synced to. So we select customer IO, and the person object. At this point, we can choose how changes to the source are synced. In our case, we'll choose update or create because we want census to update existing destination records when the mapping key matches, else create new ones if the data is missing. And finally, we'll choose the mapping key, which we'll use ID for both the customer IO and our data set. And finally, we need to select the fields we want to update with our value from the model. And this will auto match the field names, but in case one needs to be changed or one is missing, you can easily identify the right field name yourself. And from here, we're ready to start our sync. While we wait for the sync to finish, I'll point out a few different configuration options for syncs. You can choose the frequency of the sync, we just created a manual sync. However, if I want this data to be synced to customer IO regularly, I can decide the sync cadence from hourly to daily to continuous. Continuous syncs are interesting because census scans your table every few minutes. And when we detect a change in value or number of rows, we automatically trigger a sync. To ensure we only sync changes to your data rather than the full data set each time, we do incremental batching. This means that if you have 10 million records in your database and only one of them has a new value, we'll only sync that specific record. This allows us to result in fast sync times. Now that the sync is complete, I should be able to see the full set data set of users and days since their last event in customer IO. So let's check that out. Yep. I can now see that all of the data points are full and I see my entire customer base in customer IO. With this data set, now I can easily create a segment of users who have not engaged with our product in more than seven days to put into a drip re-engagement email campaign. In less than two minutes, I was able to create a cohort of the users I want to target using the complete and up-to-date data set. 
I can now easily create an email campaign targeting the segment of users. Whereas in the past, creating this cohort would have taken me days or even weeks because I had to wait in line for help from the analytics team. If you want to learn how you can use Census to sync your data, contact us. In addition to customer I.O., we also support Salesforce, HubSpot, Marketo, Intercom, Zendesk, and many other applications.